Hello everybody, my name is V. Narendra Kumar and we are from NRK Academy. And uh, today we are starting this new playlist, a series called The Life and Genius of Ayn Rand. And Ayn Rand, as uh, many people know or maybe half know or maybe misunderstand, uh, is a very famous uh, modern writer, philosopher, novelist. And the first in the series is called The Vision and Life of Ayn Rand. This is a brief biographical sketch of Ayn Rand. So let's start. And it'll, I'll read this out in such a way that anybody can understand the English here. So it will be very useful for people who are EFL students. English is a foreign language. It will improve your English also. And definitely you will get a very wonderful, I hope, uh, reason to read Ayn Rand in the original. Uh, I hope that will happen. And anyway, this is going to be my personal sharing of what I learned and what I feel uh, Ayn Rand had achieved uh, in history in the world. So let's start the first series. The vision, the vision and life of Ayn Rand. I'm stating it like a story. It was 1905 uh, and a child was born in Russia named Alice Rosenbaum. Later she would herself change her name to Ayn Rand. From childhood, Ayn Rand seemed to have been with the power of natural thinking and questioning, wondering and formulating and generalizing. From childhood, Ayn Rand, I'm reading it again, this paragraph, from, child, from childhood, Ayn Rand seemed to have been almost like born with the power of natural thinking and questioning, wondering, formulating, generalizing. And that is what she read. Those eyes, prodigious and deep, observed and grasped from books and the moment this historical events causing havoc in Russia at that time, in her very early childhood, uh, she discovered her universe, the romantic world of superheroic stories. So this, she had read these wonderful romantic stories very early in life. She had learned reading very early and she had kind of, you know, devoured the wonderful romantic novels in early childhood, like six, seven years old. That's why she was a genius. She responded deeply as if she had found the fount of life that she had. She had grasped wordlessly this is life and she didn't need to or could not then on settle for less by the time she was 21 she had thought out a lot about man and life and philosophy and what she could do in the world and what was that to show a vision of man right you and me and anybody what can be and ought to be mercifully she could escape from russia that was a Russian Revolution after the Russian Revolution, the very, the, we know the, how it was in Russia then. Mercifully, she could escape from Russia and, in, and come to America. In America, she found work, she found love, her, she married there, Frank O'Connor, and a lifetime obsession and career in writing. You know, she was a magical writer. The way she used words, the way she, her words were so pure, so exact, so powerful, so clear. So full of emotion that it would reach deep into you. It looked, it looked like there's nothing you can do about them. They would reach so deep into you and you will be transformed. That was the power of her writing. Ayn Rand was an artist of words. The seed of reason and romanticism slowly grew to become a whole philosophy to live on earth. She realized that it was precisely objectivism. This, that was a philosophy she named for a whole system that was needed with the world Tone, tone in mind and body dichotomy. You know, we say spiritual values, material values, you know, all these divisions and the falsehoods running amok, amok everywhere. As you can see, the whole world is full of lies, half truths. It was like she was like a child who said the truth directly. In fact, her philosophy is very simple. She brought in a sanity into the modern madness of Kant, Hegel and Marx and the fight is still on. Kant, Hegel and Marx are the philosophers who after the enlightenment period brought down philosophy. This was her viewpoint, this is my viewpoint also. Of course you have to go read the original but Ayn Rand could grasp the fundamentals and that is where she could find the errors in Kant, Hegel and Marx clearly. She could find out the psychological motivations. In fact, not only Ayn Rand, many each philosopher can blast the other philosopher, but doesn't see the, the log in his own eye to use the word of the Bible. So Kant said 
that this world is not real this is the world which you can never know it's not even like religion that you can know god so ayanand was on the one hand blasting religion on the one hand and she was blasting the the modern modern what is called skepticism like you doubt everything no values nothing it is like a nihilism which we, which we actually are seeing all around us so the leftism she was against and she was against religionism also so that is the reason why and that belongs to the future we'll see it in the f- coming videos so this in essence is and that the third way you can call it she brought the sanity into the modern madness of kant hegel and marx which she cleared it and the fight is still on she took the world head on and solved every single important issue or question in philosophy and what did she say reason and reality are absolutes now who will deny that reality and reason reality means what we perceive with the senses okay and reason is what we think and how to come to conclusions about the world only all she invented was she 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 made that absolute and when we go ahead in the videos we'll understand how she did it and rational selfishness or rational selfishness rational selfishness not selfishness but rational selfishness or rational self interest as man's natural moral function and altruism like sacrificing your life for another human being for no reason as a moral a moral a moral means it is not morality at all she defended capitalism as an unknown idea not the capitalism we see today because because we don't define capitalism today you know we say crony capitalism of course but we, when we talk about when we use the word capitalism we don't know what we are talking about for her capitalism was less of a capitalism and she rooted she validated adam smiths and uh, ludwig von mises and even hayek the essence of the the what is called the free market economists but she rooted that and validated it as the only way for men to live together eternal peace happiness productivity striving and all that that is why ayn rand kind of you know um, there's a huge uh, uh, impact that ayn rand had because her her words rung with the truth she defended capitalism as an unknown ideal and stripped socialism for the death of worshiping philosophy it is in theory and practice and you know very well what happened in russia we know very uh, very well what happened nazi germany in fact nazi is called national socialism and of course socialism has these disguises and socialism has its justifications there are there are complex issues there but she could see through that she brought in values thinking thinking you know deep thinking respect for man glorification of the value of technology business and money pure business proper business business that comes from creativity business and money integrating love and sex not separating it as people do today being totally earthbound not heavenly and this world is profoundly researching and inductive and inductive in love with one's power to think create and succeed without limit so this is the vision of ashiki which is why she is very popular on all levels her novels fountainhead and atlas shrugged are very popular because she showed the heroes achieving their values in reality who was this woman what was her heart beat what did she love how could she be so profoundly original and yet so profoundly simple yet so simple she was and is the greatest enigma in history that's what i feel and she has assured in a benevolence of a kind unseen unknown unexpressed yet so natural so real and arts has she banished darkness or is it that the light she has released so will will this is the essence of the bio i, I didn't want to write about the whole life there are hundreds and thousands of uh, videos on and rand you can select the good ones and read on up read uh, about her biography i would recommend iron institute because this is a little more um, you know presents her philosophy with a lot of clarity it that's my view so you can go and read about iron there's a lot of literature out there but i wanted to give or rather frankly i wanted to share what i saw uh, as her essence in the next video will will kind of give a summary of objectives in the philosophy of mind what was the philosophy of mind we're not going to the novels because novels are very complex and we do have videos on fountainhead we'll, we'll be getting many more videos on ayanrand novels also we already have a video on, on fountainhead that we have made and also on ayanrand generally now the second video will be objectivism the philosophy of ayanrand for everyone 
and we'll do that in the next video thank you so much